Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. You guys have been dropping the craziest support um, on this channel. I, I am forever grateful, guys. And everyone who's been watching the videos that's been jumping over and watching the streams this year, appreciate having you guys. It's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of new viewers, so thank you guys for watching. Um, tonight, we are, uh, yeah, we're on the grind, guys. 8.30 p.m., we're going to be recording a video. We're going to be talking about some of the best heroes in this game, my opinion. Um, you know, there's a lot of new heroes this year, and also, I wanted to make this video because in a month or two, we are going to have the upgraded heroes, the World Cup, no, sorry, the Champions League heroes. Um, so there's going to be upgraded heroes coming into the game in about a month, and we just had our first Gamble SBC, the max 87 overall hero. Now, not every player was involved uh, or included in that one. We're going to be talking about all heroes, but some of them will be included. So let me know who you guys got in your hero pack. I unfortunately got Scott. was not too good for me. And uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. And let me know who's your favorite hero. If you've tried one this year, one you really like. Um, I've been able to try a fair few of them, and I've faced now playing a lot of rivals the last day or two and, and champs because of the hero pack I've played. A good amount of them so um yeah let's get into it so first of all the goalkeeper position guys i don't really feel like there's that many good uh goalkeeper heroes i think there's actually only two uh dudek though to me is actually really good um dudek on the market very affordable i'm a little scared to actually go ahead and check um the prices on here because i i'm so scared of my game freezing and i feel like it's been really ruining videos but he is uh 58k so he's 58,000 coins, uh, which is pretty pretty affordable. I always feel like he's really good in the game. So easy recommendation for me, and I do like to do this positionally. Um, so we're going to be going no price gap today, no price uh, requirement. We're going to start off with Lucio. And also, yo, EA Sports, can you guys do something? Can you guys update the images? Because the images, just, I don't know, man. They look horrible this year. They looked okay last year. They look so bad this year. They don't appear properly, and then they get all blurry as well. I don't really know what's going on. Um, Lucio, medium high work rates, basically the best center back you can get almost in the game. The only guy I would say would rival him right now is probably, um, Maldini or VVD probably like that's it. I think VVD is the best. Um, he has the block plus play style. He also has slide tackle. He doesn't have anticipate, which is interesting. I feel like that is a really good play style to have. Um, but Lucio is Lucio. Um, this is going to cost you a lot of coins. Lucio is 940,000 coins. So he is not cheap by any means. But Lucio last year was pretty much consistently the best center back in the game. Um, there's no difference this year. And then the other center back that we're going to go with. It's actually a new center back this year. It's Vincent Company. Um, amazing. I got to try out both of these guys yesterday. If you want to watch that video, uh, we did a full hero team in champs. Uh, so you can check out, you know, at least these two we used. Medium high, six foot three. He actually has the anticipate plus. He actually has the craziest defensive play styles. So he's got anticipate plus, slide tackle, bruiser, and block. So he's got a lot. He's also got a power shot, which is interesting. Like, I wonder if you just rip a long shot with him is it is it going top ins i mean he's got the 78 long shots and he, he did have a long shot in him for sure so he's got the aerial play style as well he's a little bit cheaper he's gonna set you back a little bit less he's 700 but nonetheless still really expensive um for sure so for the budget um marquez is my favorite uh marquez every single year amazing now this card is a little bit slower. His World Cup card was pretty good last year because he was faster. But even this card with the 74 pace is very good. I feel like he does play above his uh, his stats just because he's lengthy and he's 155K. And he's in the La Liga. So this, this card is very linkable. I really like him. I think center backs is pretty much like the strongest area of the heroes. Most of the hero center backs are very good. Ledley King is also very good. And what playstyle pluses did uh, Marquez have? So he's got slide tackle plus he's got block. Now... Ledley King has the Anticipate Plus, and he has been insane the last couple of FIFAs. Uh, last FIFA, I think it was new last year, right? Did he get added, like, middle of the year last year? I don't know. He was really good last year, uh, for sure. So, yeah, I think he had a Foot Fantasy card last year. I can't even remember. I think just last year he was added, but he was very good last year. He's very good again this year. 219K gives you Premier League links as well. Medium high, medium high for Marquez, medium high for company, medium high for Lucio. So, EA really did well with the play styles, the work rates. These hero center backs are amazing. Um, you can't forget about Cordoba. The reason I don't love Cordoba this year, he's a bit more expensive. He's 416K, and I think you can use him at the beginning of the game. I just worry, yes, he's fast. I, little, I, I worry a little bit. I know he's got the aerial plus two, right? So that, that helps out with his height. But I worry about Haaland, man. Like, how, some of these some of these stronger attackers this year will literally just drop you. So I'm a little worried about that. But I think he is very good. Uh, Ricardo Carvalho, you can't really go wrong with him. Um, he's got 77 pace. 
Uh, none of these center backs are bad this year. You, you can't go wrong with him. He's He's got the uh, Portuguese league links. Um, but, I mean, auto, they're all auto defenders. Like, 93 def having 93 defensive awareness in this stage of FIFA is wild. So these heroes, man, for the budget are very, very, very good. This card is only 165K. He's got Anticipate Plus, too. I'm a huge believer in the playstyle plus this year. I think it's a very, very important thing to have. So Carvalho's crazy good. Crazy, crazy, crazy good. Um, so all these center backs good. You, you even got, you know, like I don't really recommend. I think Kohler and Mascherano are probably the only two I would not recommend. If we're going to be like completely honest, guys, I think those are probably the only two. But yeah, you got a lot of affordable options this year, which I just think, I think it makes for like just a really good experience. I think there's a lot of really, really, really good options. So um, in the right back position, guys, honestly, there's nobody I like. There's no good right back hero. I mean, unless I'm missing something. But the left back is where uh, where we get a little bit more interesting as I've just, I'm still learning these menus. Um, Beasley, very, very, very good. I was able to try him out. Now, some people like him a little bit more. At left mid, um, that's fine. He doesn't have the best defending, but as a, as a left back, I think he's very good. Um, he's also got medium high. I liked him a lot. He's a good way to get messy on chemistry. Um, very fast. Very good. Just overall very good. Very good on the ball. Uh, don't want to spend too much time on the fullbacks. Um, uh, Sonia looks very good as well. Um, you know, really, 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 really nice um, pace. Really good dribbling. Really good defending. Little weak, but high, high. So makes up for it. And uh, yeah, a lot of play styles, right? Anticipate, press proven. You know, the, the one thing I would worry about, I have I, I used Alex Scott at right back and I didn't like her. I just felt like I was out of position a bit. Um, I don't know. Just didn't love her at, at, at right back. So a little worried maybe with the strength. I think fullbacks this year, I, I feel like strength is really important. Um, like Teo Hernandez is by far the best fullback. Really like him. Um, Reese is... I'm, not saying that right. It might be Rise. I don't know. Rise? I don't even know. I'm not going to try. But this guy, is, this guy is different. Power shot plus play style. Now, a lot of people like to move him in game to center midfield. I think three star, two star is a bit of a problem. But six foot two with these stats. I mean, he's Hullet Gang. Really affordable as well. Only 100 and he's uh, 160K, which I just find, I think that's affordable. Like for a hero, I think that's very affordable. Captain V is also very good. You can't go wrong with him. Um... You know, I think his World Cup hero is going to be a bit better than this one. If you guys don't know, if you're watching this video, last year EA dropped like crazy top tier World Cup heroes, which is going to be the Champions League heroes basically this year. Um, but yeah, Captain Villa, a little bit slower than that car, but the good acceleration. He's got great body type in game, uh, great height, and uh, not too many play styles, but really good stats. So I really like him. I think the best left back, um, I think the best left back is going to be. Uh, Liza Razu? Liza Razu? I think he's going to be the best, though. Um, he's a lefty, high, high, um, 91 balance. He's got 85 defensive awareness, 89 acceleration. I was able to use him for a little bit. He's got a play style plus. He's got block. Uh, he's got anticipate. He's got slide tackle plus. Whipped pass, long ball pass. I mean, for the crosses as well, really, really good option, um, I would say. So, yeah, those, those probably fullbacks-wise, I think, you know, I think uh, Scott is going to probably miss out. But I think that these fullbacks obviously are all really usable. And, uh, you know, obviously that's why we're, we're, we're checking them out. I don't really think the right back slot is great. Um, I really don't. Um, all right, let's move on to the midfield. There are so many midfielders. The first one I want to start with that I really enjoyed using uh, yesterday was Kessler. Uh, she is a German center midfielder. Uh, and she's got really good stats. She's great. I used her yesterday. Um, she's got amazing passing really good card just overall really good card five foot seven three star weak foot is the only problem but very very affordable 181k you can pay to get this hero i mean very affordable i feel like that's so freaking affordable so yeah thought she was uh really 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 top tier to be honest um for the price too, 180k very 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 affordable so very good other uh center mid we're gonna go with obviously you guys know i mean we're not gonna talk too much i would say about the top top tier because People watching this video, you guys are looking to hear about the best heroes on a certain price. A little bit more of a, a player you didn't expect. Marquezio is going to be one of the best players this year for the entire year. He's 5'11". He's got Hullet Gang stats. Um, Marquezio every single year is freaking incredible. The issue is he's 600K. And this is where we're going to kind of up the price here. We are going to start getting expensive. Now, Yaya Toure. Oh, my God, is he good. The presence this guy has in the midfield is crazy. I bought him on my content account. He's up to 
I bought him on the content account for one mil. He's all the way up to one three now. So this guy just absolutely mooned, man. Um, and some of these top tier cards are really, really, really starting to rise. Ramirez would be another one. Um, Ramirez is up so freaking much. He is up to what now? Let's check out his price, right? And, uh, you know, Yaya is great. Ramirez is four star, three star. He's a new hero this year. He's a FIFA legend. Um, Ramirez, if you remember him from back in the day, he is so good. He's everything uh, you expected. Really just reminds me of Conte, to be honest. Like prime Conte in FIFA, just a bit faster. Um, so these two obviously are absolutely like perfect. Somebody that I got to try out that I really enjoyed, which I was, I guess I'm not surprised about, but Schneider was really good. I thought Schneider had great shooting. Um, you get the five star weak foot with 90 passing. That's really nice. For an attacking center mid or a cam, I thought Schneider was really, really nice um, to use. I really, really, really enjoyed him. So I thought he was great, especially for the price. I mean, he's 400, 500K, but I think he was really good. Um, somebody that I think you guys would be a little bit surprised about that I think actually you can make the case for in this game um, is uh, Thomas, Tomas. Right now, he only had three star weak foot, but the way the dribbling is this year, I think with the R1 dribbling for a cheap option, I think he could be really good. Nakata, I would say, is probably the same thing for that cam, uh, you know, center mid role. But, you know, for me, the midfielders, the only cheap midfielder that's really that good is going to be Kessler. Um, the rest, you're really going to have to pay this year, guys. There's no, there's not really much around that. You're kind of going to have to pay, as I showed you. I mean, Schneider would be the next cheapest at four or 500K. So for me, um, yeah. He's, uh, he, th th those are the best midfielders. Let's move over to, uh, where should we go? Left mid, right mid. Let's go to, I think, is, is Alawayron left or right? I think he, is he both? Can he, nah, he's right. He's only right, right? Right. Yeah, he's also striker. So Alawayron, obviously super expensive. I'm pulling up the prices to the side here. Alawayron currently is 500K. Now, very good though. Very fast. Probably a little bit overpriced. Again, he had a World Cup hero last year that was really his god tier card. This card last year, his base wasn't that expensive. His next version is crazy. But still really good. Probably a little bit overpriced. A little bit, I would be honest with you and say, for the current time being. But somebody that's actually at that same price that is incredible is Paulo Futre. Oh my god, this guy, even though he's got a three star weak foot. This dude, he used to be an icon on FIFA and was fodder. Oh, my God. This guy this year is nuts. He's so good. And it's because I, this is my new theory. I think Technical Plus is the best play style. I just hit my mic. Sorry. You can get. I think this is like revolutionary. I think this literally changes everything. This play style plus seems to really just be the difference for some players. I was doing the R1 dribbling with him yesterday. Oh, my God. It's crazy. It makes you feel like. Three-star weak foot doesn't even matter, and he can play on either flank or up top, either wing. Um, yeah, bro is literally just crazy. So, for me, I would definitely say Paulo Futre for sure. Now, this card, um, Julie, I believe it is, uh, amazing, so good. Like, sh really, really, really surprised me. Um, you know, four-star, four-star was really amazing to see. He's a brand-new hero this year. Um R1, you get this card, and he's affordable too. That's the thing. This guy is 160K. R1 dribbling. Just spam R1 with this guy, and you will be golden. I loved him. I thought he was so good. His playstyle plus is acrobatic plus, which looking back on, he's also got quick step. I probably should have done some more uh, crazy crosses and stuff to him to see what we could cook with him. But yeah. All right. Uh, Garrett. It's not Garrett. I think I'm thinking of the freaking surfer, man. Do you guys, uh, Garrett McNamara or something? Thinking of the surfer who did the 100 foot wave. No, not him. Steve, uh, Steve Mickey D's here. Four star, four star. Um, think he's a really nice cheap option. 110K. The balance is not the best, but you got, again, you can play him at cam either side. And I think for an out wide player, look, even with low balance and low finishing, if you, R1 dribbling is such a difference maker this year, like this is where I think people really overcomplicated in this game. A lot of the scoring this year is just passing across the goal tappings. There's not really a lot of shooting, so I don't know, man. The finishing stat, it's it's a bit like, do you need it to be that high? I don't really know. I mean, the finishing stat this year just seems a little bit overrated to be overanalyzing this year. I don't know. Um, and then other than that, a couple other players we probably should mention for the wide players. This player, you know, this player, I knew there was somebody missing for center mid. Um, Park Ji Sung. Uh, Park Ji Sung probably scroll past it um 
amazing. This is actually my favorite hero I've used this year, by the way. If you guys were wondering. Um, Relentless Plus, probably a huge reason. Uh, never runs out of energy. 95 stamina. He's just crazy. Use him at center mid. Uh, you will really struggle to sell him. Um, you know, get him and Sonny in the team. It's 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 golden for you. You are going to get way more wins. Um, this is a card that everybody should be hoping. If you haven't done the if you haven't done the hero SBC yet, everyone should be hoping uh, that they pack this card. This is such a difference maker of a card. Um, he is such a joke. He is so freaking good. So yeah. All right, we're moving on to striker. I lost in Rivals the other day to this, or was it Rivals? No, it was Foot Champs to Brolin. Um, Brolin, four star, three star, three star weak foot, but this guy wasn't missing the net. He was ultra fast. So for me, um, he's a top tier recommendation. He is so good in this game. And uh, yeah, he scored way too many goals against me the other day. So that's why now he's in my video telling you to buy him and, you know, probably use him in, uh, yeah. Cook me with him. That's that's fantastic. Now, somebody last year, I did, this is we're, we're kind of getting to the territory of players that I haven't really used, but Rudy Voller. All right, so we're getting to this territory where I haven't used him, but this was a card last year that used to destroy me. You have to pay 600K to get him on the market this year. Uh, let me tell you, bro, this guy just, he scores everything. He's got chip shot plus finesse shot. He's got all the shooting traits. I think this guy is, is top, top tier. Top tier. Now, what's interesting is, I, between I just used the team with Dina Tali and I used the team with uh, Futre and Ginola up top. And Futre was actually the best attacker. Whether you want to believe that or not, through 20 games, I felt like Futre was just the best. Um, but Ginola, we can't forget about him. He's probably the best hero. Five star, five star. He's the most expensive hero. Um, five star, five star with 89 shot power, 90 log shots. You know, he's just crazy. And again, he's got technical plus. So towards the end of the weekly league run, we started spamming R1 with Ginola. Bro was twisted. So, Ginola, top, top tier. Viali's a new card that got added this year. I think he's got good finishing. Cheap option if you want to try it out. Not the worst agility. Really good stamina, good strength. So, you could try it out. I bet he Pelle, I always find him a bit overpriced. I never really feel like he really performs. He has crazy stats, but don't let the dribbling stats fool you because he's got the average body type. We'll have to see if the R1 dribbling really overcompensates this year for that body type. Morientes, absolutely crazy doesn't miss in the box and we're talking budget here obviously i would choose abedi pelle over morientes but for the price morientes is only 155k doesn't miss um we want to keep looking at attackers we don't want to miss anyone i think forlan is a decent option with the high finishing and the four star four star um early on to use for sure again r1 dribbling i think jj is pretty good out wide very expensive 600k but this year, with the, the importance on dribbling, I think JJ could be really justified with the coins. Um, I did use Tevez. I thought Tevez really did have almost automatic shooting. I feel like if he was 4-4, he would really be that kind of top, top tier. And I just think that that was missing. Di Natale has that finesse shot plus. So Di Natale is an absolute demon, right? He's very expensive. Di Natale on the market. Let me get a price check. 1.27. Di Natale is 1.27 mil. So he is just... Oh, my God, bro. He is, uh, he's, he's very good, but very, very expensive. Um, and other than that, I think really there's probably two other candidates to go through. I know who they are, and I'm going to make sure there's nobody else on this page that I forgot about. Oh my God, there's three players. No, there's four. Okay, Govu. We're going to talk about Govu. Now, Govu only has the three-star weak foot, but Govu early on, decent option. 400K, but very, very good. Um, good finishing. What's his playstyle plus this year? Power shot plus. Okay, so that's going to be great. I mean, Rashford has that. I feel like when my opponents are even shooting the ball just with Rashford, not even the power shots, it feels like a power shot plus. So the three players that I have on top of my mind, smaller rec, only three-star, three-star, so fast. The 97 pounds and the 90 agility. Just hold R1. You are going to end up in the back of the net. Um, he is wild. So go for smaller rec. He's, he's a little bit cheaper, 250K. And then the last two I want to talk about is cool Premier League links, which is really nice. Um, decent, decent overall card. And then Joe Cole. I think Joe Cole is probably the best hero you can get outside of Parchi Song for the budget. Like, for what he's worth. He's less than 300K. I think for what he's worth, everything considered, Joe Cole is that guy. Crazy, crazy R1 dribbling. And really, really nice with the 4-star, four 4-star four and the Premier League link. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. These are my favorite heroes. There's a lot of heroes that are not great, but I do feel like overall at this time, the reason I want to make this video is because most of the heroes are very usable. Um, there's only, like, probably 10 or 15 I wouldn't use. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll uh, see you guys in one later. Let me know who's your favorite hero. Peace.